Hey guys, welcome to Home on the Ranch. We got a huge fencing project we're about to do. Can you see all my cows behind me? Well, I got to get these cows on the back half. I got to get them through this fence right here. I dumped all this food on the ground. Bad. I got to shake it. They'll come in here. So I'm going to try to get them in here and maybe get you guys a video. They don't always like to just run right past me. So I might have to go back up to the truck. But here comes Frenchie right now. So that's that red one we call her Frenchie. Her tag number is 88. We used to call her Dale Jr. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Come on, what are you guys doing? All right, they'll, they'll walk in here. All right, here they come. Frenchie's their leader. She's not the oldest, but she's the bravest. So you guys know about cows. They're all spooky and whatnot. Come on in. Can y'all see that line of food? Right there that I pour on the ground. So that's uh 20% protein pellets. I usually put it in a trough, but I feel like bringing the troughs back here because the cattle pens are all up front. All right, here they go. They found it now. Come on in, girls. There they are. Those are the brammers right there. That one there and that one there. And they're not going to come in if I'm standing there. Phew, look at her staring at us. Can y'all see? It's cold out here in South Florida today. She's standing there with grass hanging out of her mouth. That's her M.O. And she's blowing smoke. She's a fire-breathing dragon, boys. What are you doing, girl? What are you doing, girl? Come on. Come on. That one don't want to go through the gate, neither. Those are all our tame ones. Those are English-style cattle. Those are all limousines. And then that is a Angus cross with a Brahma. F1. It's that first generation. Come on in. Hey, I was wondering, are you girls pregnant? Do y'all know? I sure hope you are. We had that bull a while back in here. He's not here anymore. Uh, we sent him back to the neighbors. But we also have our other bull that we banded. And I'm going to show you guys that later. Y'all aren't going to believe it when y'all see the bull that we banded. So it's been like three weeks. And it's, um, you know, it could take up to a month or longer. And I'll we'll actually show you a picture, uh, a video of it. I'll get them all in the pen tomorrow maybe. But... Uh, his balls that we put the rubber band around, oh my gosh, they, they look like, you know, it, it just, they are shrunk down to like a raisin sack. It's probably going to fall off at any time. It's, it's crazy looking. So we'll, we'll show you guys that. Maybe I'll make that like the uh, thumbnail or something, but we'll, we'll see. First, I got to get the rest of these cows in here. I might have to go through the fence and let them walk All through. Right, on this is Mouse the Bull. Or he was a bull. Can you guys see under here? You see that flat thing right there? He's got prickers all under it. Can you see that? You can also see the rubber band kind of tied to it. Those, that thing is about to fall off. Holy guacamole. So I'll try to get you guys a better view of that also. Here, let's see if we can't sneak up on them. And, you know, these, oh my gosh. From the side, it looks like a, it looks like a pancake hanging in between his legs. <laughs> that was a big old set of bull balls, you know, four weeks ago. And now I say two more weeks and that sucker will fall clean off there. Those are just prickers on his inner thigh. This time of year, all those cocker burrows are seeding off like that. Man, that's hard to believe how good that rubber banding worked. I mean, that rubber banding, running them through the chute's no big deal because we, you know, get them up there to feed them. They walk right in on their own. They go in the chute with just a little bit of effort. And then the banding took two minutes, and he went from a bull to a steer. Now we're, we're going to fatten them up, and we'll get more money at the market for them. So I, I would say effort-wise to dollars we're going to make, Hey, that's a good deal. So this is the this is the halfway fence on our property. So when I got here, there's a cattle grate right there on the ground. Y'all see that underneath that fence? When I got here, that gate's wide open 
and the the walking gate right there that's the one we'll leave open if we want the cows to come in and out well it was left open you know which is totally fine but they had knocked down this center post right here and at what you know they they were this one right here they were probably just leaning on it or rubbing on it and it snapped off at the bottom it was old so instead of starting my big fencing project i wanted to do first thing i had to do was to pull the old post out of the ground that was broke and then get everything lined back up they had that big gate right there off the hinges so i spent an hour doing that and catching the cows so i'm about an hour behind on my job but hey I'm I'm like the butcher that backed into the meat grinder. I'm a little got a little behind in my work. You know what I'm saying? Check the cow's water out. Slap full and pretty clean. You can see to the bottom of it. There's a few leaves and all, but no big deal. Nothing I need to worry about. It's right under an oak tree, but uh, so I do get leaves. In but it. I put it under the oak tree on purpose because it keeps it shaded and keeps it cool. The water comes out from a couple hundred feet in the ground and so it's cool even in the summertime so uh they really like it sometimes i've seen them dunk their heads in it i don't know if they're trying to cool down or just being goofy but i poured those cattle cubes on the ground can you believe a tractor supply the cheapest cattle cube 20 percent that you can get are 17 dollars holy guacamole price of feeding these cows is just crazy I, I can't imagine living in an area where you had to, you know, feed them. These cows you don't need to feed. I do it just to look at them and, uh, you know, keep them, keep them calm. But that $17 bag of cattle cubes, all I had to do was shake it, you know, and got all of them in here but one. One I had to walk up behind. But, you know, had I not had that and I was trying to corral them, I'd had to bring, bring our horses out, you know, get them all run through here. Uh, it's fun, but I'd have been fighting with them, pushing them all around. They're so friendly. They don't, you know, you got to push them with your horse to get them to go anywhere. So, hey, 17 bucks is a lot of money for one bag of cattle cues, 50 pounds of it. But um, it saved me, you know, two hours worth of time, plus fooling with the horses when I got a big fence project to do. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to I'm going to get going. I appreciate y'all watching this. Hey, like, subscribe, share this. You guys know we do a lot of cow stuff. We also do horse stuff and just general whatever we're doing. We're, we're just putting out family videos, having a great time. Um, I hope you guys are having a blessed day. If y'all have any comments, I try to respond to all of them as soon as I can. I appreciate all you guys watching and going on this ranching journey with us. So thanks for watching Home on the Ranch. Hey, send this to some friends. And I uh, hope you guys have a blessed day.